Hello everybody and welcome back to another Peanuts video. Yes, I'm back with some more videos. It's been a while. I'm sorry for that. But I'm be I've been really, really busy. But uh, I'm still going with uh, uh, Magic, of course. And um, I have a pre-release kit right here from Kaladesh. And I'm going to open it on camera to see what's inside and see if we have an amazing pool or a crappy one. I hope you had fun at your local uh, game store because I sure did, except my first because holy shit, that was one terrible poo for me. <laughs> but the rest of the weekend was awesome and I liked it a lot. And this one uh, I saved. Let's open it up. Kaladesh is the home plane of Chandra and let's hope we get her in uh, this pack. And uh, there's also a thing called Inventions, that's sort of an expedition. Uh, but with other cards instead of land, especially artifacts. And oh, let's take a look. Here's our promo card, and we have the legendary Ovia. This is a really good card to, to play with, actually, because you can uh, create a lot of servo tokens. So, this is really nice. And she's foil with the stamp, of course. So, that's a nice first catch here. What else do we have in this pack? We have uh, a topter that you can build, it's a small topter token. Or well, it's not a token, but uh, it is a real-life topter. <laughs> so that's really funny if you're creative and you have too much time on your hands. <laughs> there you have the die with the Kaladesh logo on it. I'm sorry if you can hear that buzzing sound. That's uh, from outside, but I can't really help that. All right, here you have some tips on how to build a sealed deck. If you're uh, at a pre-release for the first time or something, you can uh, well read that for a minute. This is also... Uh, Nice Easter egg sort of thing, clue for the next set. Tezzeret will probably be back. But the impo most important thing is of course the boosters here. But I want to point out a, a small fact about this box because this is really inventive of course. But you also have, and I'm not sure why this is here, but I think it's for your energy counters or your die, dice. You have like a, well, how do you say that? A casket, <laughs> treasure chest for your things. So that's uh, something you might have missed to pre-release. Or not, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the boosters, because we have a nice green start. This is a good reason to play green. So let's see what we else have in these amazing boosters. Of course, I can only hope for one of those uh, inventions, because that's good for the video. <laughs> Alright, we have the Puzzle Knots. Really nice artifacts that you can use twice, actually, when you play it and when you sacrifice it. This one deals damage. Nice. Nice instant trick. I'm not gonna go in depth in all the comments because it takes too long. This is a nice one. Bounces a creature back to your hand. Fabricate is one of the mechanics. You can create a servo or get a plus one plus one counter on this card. Also, the energy is something new in this set. You can collect those and use it for cards like this one. You can scry with it. Nice card, actually. Gremlin, 5 2. Another fabricator. Nice playable card, also green. In the end of the video, I'll just uh, check which color we're gonna play. Diabolic Tutor, reprint, nice. The vehicles we have start off as an artifact, and when you tap creatures for it enough, this one is crew three, so you need to have power three or more. It becomes a uh, it becomes a creature. Sorry. <laughs> nice. Ceremonious rejection. Counter a colorless spell. Really useful in an artifact theme block, of course. And oh, again, this card. I have this card already, like, three times. <laughs> nice sideboard maybe, but it's not the best card in your pool. So that's not a good start for me. But still, maybe it's a, it's a sideboard card for standard maybe. Could be, uh, could be handy. Alright, let's open this one up then. We have reprint Mind Rot. Pickable timing. Three damage attacking a blocking creature. Oh! <laughs> Useful card. There's a lot of nice combat tricks and artifact matters uh, cards. This one's also really nice. Menace. Here's one of the big vehicles. Crew 486. This one is really strong. I got beaten by this card a lot at the pre release. Cat Monkey here. <laughs> Normal equipment. This is a real strong card. Really strong card. 3 damage to each creature. Yeah. Oh, this one is also really nice. I like this one a lot. This could uh, be very well be going in the deck that I would make out of this pack. <laughs> here we have Engineered Might. And I can see already the rare here. That's a dual land. 
Scars land, tap land, whatever you want to call them, Psalm land. Scars of Meriden featured this uh, kind of land as well. And this one is really strong as well. Good playable card. I think this is a good start for green white for my pool. And we have a nice foil card Fretwork Colony. Grows every single turn, but it can block and you lose life. So, this is a threat though. If you don't answer it correctly, you will be overrun, I think. Nice. One of the lands, it's really nice, so we have an option to splash maybe. Alright, here we have a nice blue card. Gives flying. Flying is always really strong. Good removal card this is. Fragmentize, hits a lot. Too bad it's sorcery, but yeah, else it's uh, a little bit too strong. A nice uh, yeah, removal card. Really high pickable or usable, whatever you want to call it. Another 4 5, 2 1. These are not too exciting. Energy, lose life, draw, removal, in green, potential for the deck if we're gonna go with green. This one is also really nice, two drop, grows creatures, nice. Another energy matters, gives haste to servo tokens, nice, also white, potential. This one is kinda weird, <laughs> put two cards in your graveyard, you can exile this card and shuffle it back, okay. I'm not sure if you want to use this, but this one is really useful. <laughs> Shrewd negotiation, you can trade servos for insane cards maybe. And this one, this is a really nice combination with that foil that I had before. Let me grab that, come here. <laughs> this one, this one uh, really is a good combination. You can create a lot of servos and you don't have to do anything actually. Just take your turn. And you can also double some counters, or well, put another counter there. So you can use that for your energy, or the counters on creatures. It's a really useful card. Alright, good start. I like that. And here we go again. Nice bomb here. Can also be played in the white, uh, in the blue deck if I want to go green blue, or green blue white, I don't know. Could be handy, I guess. The goat, nice goat. <laughs> Counterspell, we have some Vanillas here, this is also a really playable card. Yeah, I think I will go green and probably blue or something, I have to check it out. This one searches for assembly workers, <laughs> nice. Good removal, the Rhino is really good as well, another one of those uh, energy producers. This, way, this card really works well with other vehicles, nice card. This one is also not bad actually, Tower Creature you Control can be blocked. Power 2 or less, nice. Okay, this one you can fetch an artifact back from your graveyard. And we have this card, I don't know what this is. Return any number of target non lands, non token permanents you control to their owner's hand, draw a card. Alright, maybe you can save some cards with it and draw something with it as well. I don't know if that's the best rare you want, but there's, some, there's probably something fun to, to do with it. Right, so far we don't have the best uh, cards with value, but there are a lot of playable cards in here. Like this one, really strong. Yeah. Another one of the Scryers. Nice combat trick, this is really terrible card to play against. It's, uh, yeah, really effective. Eager Construct, Windrake, also really good to play. Flying, always good. Giant Spectacle and Aura. This one is uh, awesome, I like this card. Energy and a land for only one, it's good. Yeah, I would, the nice cat here. This is also a really good uh, bomb. If you have a lot of energy, you can attack with a 6-6 six, six every single turn, that's nice. Ooh, this one is also really strong. Two damage to two targets. I like it, at it. sorcery speed though, yeah. An elephant here, yeah, good card. Grows if the horde grows stronger. <laughs> this one produces top turns and gets you energy. Also a usable card, I like it. And Scrap Heap Scrounger, good card, but I already have two of them for, because of the pre-release, so pff, third one is a little bit too much maybe, but it is a nice card to uh, combine with uh, that one Eldrazi card that you can cast from Exile, Eternal Scourge, I, I believe that's called. It's a nice combination, I guess, for some aggro, aggro deck building or something. Alright, up to the last booster, which is obviously one of the best boosters because it's going to feature a grand rare. <laughs> the rats, nice card as well, gives you another energy 
uh, source, the 04 camel here. Hydrate Hermit, there's a lot of playable commons, yeah, I have to say that. Nice card, yeah. I think I will go white and green with blue, fuck it. <laughs> Another one of the vehicles. Basic Land Searcher, hmm, nice. Really, yeah, handy. Hijack, also really nice, returns every single turn if you have an artifact enter the battlefield. Good blocker then, huh? Nice. More energy, more removal. Good combination to do with. And we have uh, another Dynavolt Tower. Jeez, I have this three times as well. <laughs> uh, it works well with your uh, Incident and Sorcery deck though, but um, yeah, it is hard to get this active a lot, so it's uh, tricky to play this card in your pool. Alright, seeing the card pool, I'll probably go uh, with these two colors at least. Maybe add blue in there, because there were a lot of good blue cards that I could play. And uh, like that, create a, create a deck. Those were the things that I would do. Um, I'm not gonna build the whole deck, because uh, I have other things to do. <laughs> yeah, this will probably be the deck that I would play. And there are some options, of course, because I have this one as well. So blue could be a really good option here as well. So, let me know what you would do. So much for this video, thank you for watching this opening with me. Uh, this is a good pool to play with, not the best rest though. Uh, but still you can play uh, yeah, with, a, with a lot of fun and you have some different options that you can do with your deck. So that's really nice because blue really looked good too. And uh, especially with that land that, you, that we got. Um, yeah, it's a good option. So you can uh, easily splash blue or just play blue. So that's for this Kaladesh pre-release pack. Next week will probably be a fat pack or bundle as they call it now. And uh, yeah, I'll try to keep up with the videos, but I have a lot of things to do. So I'll try to pop in a video somewhere here and there. But uh, no worries, I won't quit. <laughs> because everybody wants that peanut, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment, leave a like if you want. Like, share, subscribe. Because that's the best sentence that you can say as a YouTuber. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so much for this. Later!